Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. We're in a Gold Crest Valley map and just kind of standing here watching the sunrise, looking at our field right here. We're eventually going to shift to the next stage of growth, hopefully jumping out of here into harvest, though only this first little section right here is going to uh, going to be harvestable first because we hit a transition right in the middle of the planting. Doesn't happen very often, but it did there. But I've got time sped up to 60 speed or 60 times reality. There it goes. So we just triggered there. Everything else has gone one stage further ahead. Okay, and it's six o'clock. So let's turn time back down to, oh, to five. We'll try and run it at five from now on so we'll catch some more days. We've only had Let's see, does it say what day it is? No sense of a date on here, is there? Um, anywhere in here? Not there. Let's see, st statistics might say something. Uh, trees cut down, missions completed, time played, but not what day it is. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway. I was just going to sit here and watch the sun come up and see if things change while I'm talking, but that time went by way too fast. So, <laughs> redo. Anyway, <clears throat> I spent uh, several hours since last episode going through the various farms or fields that we would like to buy at some point and ran the... Uh, um, the contracted jobs on them to try to get the prices down. And then I got to thinking, and <clears throat> I took kind of a tour through the uh, the entire town and visited every farm. One, found out, is owned by Richard Wright, who also owns six. That's Wright Agribusiness. He owns both of these. And I, I assumed, if, as I went through this, that I would find... You know, 15 different owners, and each randomly owns two farms. You know, something very methodic and, and logical. But um, it doesn't work that way. It's quite random. Uh, most of the owners only own their one farm, their one field, and that's it. A few of them own clusters. So if you find a far, a field that is owned by or two fields that are owned by the same person, you can work each one, and they'll both count toward increasing your favor with that farmer so that his prices will drop so that you can get both fields at that lower price. So we want to get the prices down as far as we can go before we buy, or at least reasonably, you know, as low as possible. It'd be nice to buy a field just as it's ready to harvest. For instance, 11 here is owned by Dennis Jenkins. We've worked about three quarters of the way through that little bar that uh, shows his favor toward us, and it's ready to harvest what? 11 is about to harvest soybeans. Or at least, I've done everything that can be done. There's still a couple of stages away from harvest, right? It's in that last stage there. So I just fertilized. There's nothing else. There's no other uh, assignments that can be taken on. So that's it. So we either get it before it gets harvested, or we wait a whole other round. If we want to buy a, a field ready to harvest and ready to, you know, to, to cash in its crop, which will help pay for the farm, I think that one's around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars now. Um, otherwise, I discovered that sixteen, no, well, nineteen, the one we've been working over here, this little itty bitty one, is only owned by one, or is owned by Alex Young, who only owns one field. So we're not going to get any advantage by working another farm somewhere else to try to get this price better. We're at about two-thirds of the way through that one. Um, looking at my list over here, number nine is owned by Joshua Allen, who also owns 13. Thought that's really convenient. So we'll work both of these back and forth, and we'll get that easily down to uh, you know 100% uh, favor toward us and get the very lowest price. So right now we're at about halfway on, uh, wor on working through these. But what, one thing that was rather interesting was these three right here are all owned by the same person. Let's see, 22, James Howards owns 23 and 24. 
And we are only one eighth of the way through on that one. We've only worked, I think, this field one one or two times. So is that right? Look at my chart there. Howard's Yeah, I've got one eighth there. I don't know if there's eight jobs or ten jobs on that list or, or even twelve. I don't but just a little bump on the, at the bottom of the bar, basically. So there is a lofty goal to go for, to get that price down and get all three of these bought, which is pretty close to, to home right here. We do want to get 11, and I really like that, that long skinny one. So we may as well go for these two as well. Um, 7 and 8, I believe, are also joined together. No, they're not. 9 and 13 are. Yeah, that's that one. Um, one and six, three and four are. So these two up here are from the same owner. It seems like the most advantageous way to do this. The same number of, of contracted jobs for an owner gets you the benefit for multiple fields. So we have that cluster, that cluster. These three are all owned by Gomez. So there's a cluster there. Mary owns these two. So I wouldn't want to to buy this one because well that's that's Mary's farm so <laughs> it it would be weird to go to Mary's farm to buy cattle when it's not her farm so that one's off limits uh, but this group over here what other groups were there uh, 17 and 21 is the only other group where's that there these two are a group now, I know there are placeables here, so we're not showing on the map. If I were to zoom in down there, do we get the sense of buildings? That's right, that is a building right there. I remember driving by that. So these are buildings. Okay. These are buildings here. So are there buildings for us to use in this group? Not really. I think that's driveway or dirt road area. And these are houses. So we'd have to put our own buildings over here. Uh, over here, no buildings at all. Though we do have the railroad there, if that is helpful. Don't know what that is. I have to check that one out. Up in here, I don't know if that's a placeable or not, meaning a shed when I say placeable, because you can buy them and, and drop them in. And up in here, might have some facilities right there for us have to go see what that's all about. But anyway, so we really don't have anything to do. We're going to harvest this one eventually. These have moved forward in their stages really fast. So I'm guessing that, I think it was wheat and sunflower, move quite quickly in their growth versus canola down here. I'm not sure about that. But um, we have nothing to harvest, nothing to... Fertilize? So we do have something to fertilize. Both these guys need the weeder gone through. Okay, so we've got that to do. I'm trying to figure out what to do this episode. I know something I want to do is I want to ask you guys what we want to do. I'm going to try something that I saw in a Daggerwind video that I thought was really clever. Something I'd like to start incorporating more into, uh, into my series, and that is to take a poll. He was able to set up a poll through YouTube, and I figured out how to do that. And I've got a couple of options for future uh, episodes. And the reason I'm stuck on this screen is because one option, the very first option in the poll, and it'll pop up here in a, well, maybe it'll pop it up right now in the video. It should be a little eye that shows up, I think, in the top right corner, at least uh, if you're watching on a PC. I don't know what it does if you're watching on a mobile device. But um, option number one, is to buy field number 11 next. And I'm thinking turning that into grass and just grassing that thing out. We're not that far from the biogas plant as far as taking grass for silage. We're not that far from the cattle doing it over here. So over here we can sell it. Over here, right there, we can use it. So buy field 11 and grass, hay, silage, what have you out of here. First option for our poll. Second option, do some logging. Head off into maybe this area or up there or through here right behind our place or I think there's another one down here and take down some big trees, big ones. 
you know, full blown trees, not like what we did with the pickup truck before. And go ahead and get the, the big uh, trailer to put full logs on. And then maybe head over to, it's by 11. Mm, that's where you transfer them over. Where do you load the train? We'll have to we'll have to take a look at that. Maybe we'll drive the train this episode and go around this loop. You can get on once you've transferred logs from one train to the other. You can take it over to the sawmill and drop it off. And there's a cell point right here. And this station is meant to transfer from one train to the other one. But I don't know where you would logically put it on to need to make that transfer. So that part I've still got to figure out. But that's option two. So we'd get the big trailer, maybe even get the uh, uh, the sapling planter and go back and replant wherever we cut them out and, and kind of see how that process works. Or number three, we can get down here and get into cattle and get into the total mix rations or the, I think they call it the power food in this one. It was always TMR before. Um, get the uh, the hay, sh the straw shredder and, and uh, and uh, blow the uh, the bedding in and, and feed them, water them, the whole works. Uh, look at the milking machine, see how that works. So we have cattle industry, or we've got the, the, the logging, or we've got um, field 11 and everything that, that's entailed over here. So that's what, uh, what a lot of this episode is going to be about, as well as getting the weeder going over here. Now, I'm pretty sure that I can hire that out. It's fun to do, but I kind of want to drive all around and do other things this time. Um, let's see. Oh, and with mowing also, we'll get into this as well. But I want to get into this guy connected to this guy. Both these together make a very impressive mower that I played with off off camera on my own uh, map. You know, besides this uh, this Let's Play series, and and it was a lot of fun. So back out of there, but let's go and get the uh, the weeding going. Um, actually, one of these would be just fine. It's uh, not, it doesn't need a powerful tractor for this. Now I have not played today. Let's see if I can get my my bearings straight here for making my fingers do what my brain wants them to do. The weeder is that's a tether, huh? That's a tedder. That's a windrower. There's a weeder. Over here? No. Okay. What's up over here? I know we have cultivators and plows over there. I don't remember moving the weeder over there. didn't. Okay, I'm not imagining this, am I? Garage. I'll just go this way. Weeders are right there. We own this guy. Yes, we do own one. Where is he at? Is there a way to find out from the map? I know I can reset it to the store, but Let's look at this. What is that symbol for? There's trailers. These might be implements. Let's turn these off. We don't want trailers. So I think that's harvesters. So here's everything else that we own. And you can kind of work your way through. And you see a picture over here. Now, where is that? And that's the weeder, right? Aerostar wrote. 1200 I think that is it's claiming to be over there where the uh, where the uh, seed and fertilizer is so there's a way to locate something and a way to forget that you turn those icons off on your map and then panic next time you open up your map trying to figure out where everything went <laughs> try to get back to that but weeding will no wait a minute I've lost it there not weeding we've done the weeding that's only for growth stage one. Never mind. We need to actually fertilize. Fertilizing, I don't think can be... Well, it can be done with a hired hand. I think that the option is there. But with that 
you know, 50 foot arm sticking out there, I'm really hesitant. So I think I'll do that myself. And besides, it's such a wide path. 10 minutes, we'll have both fields done. So there's no point in doing that. All right, so we've got the little sower over there. Oh, I see, yep. Yeah. Because weeding is a stage of fertilizing. So it's with the fertilizers. Ah, uh, ah, now I know what I did. So we have both the sowers over there, and we have these guys over here. Let's back him in. Let's see if I can keep where I can see myself. There we go. Grab that one. Uh, need to fill it up. Let me jump in, in the cab. I can kind of get a better bearing. Nope, I can't. I have no idea where I'm at. There, because it's over here. Okay. I found out last time you got to almost touch this thing to get it to work. And even that is questionable. There we go. So we'll fill this up. We will fertilize everything. And then we'll drive around and look at those three options and see what is involved money-wise and all of that. We've got... Actually, I've gained almost $100,000 from all of the contract work that I was doing trying to get those fields. I've got to get that log sold off there. A little piece of wood. I'm trying to get those fields as viable as possible. So, um, with the extra money, I figure we've got the funds to do any of those three options. So let's get this guy unfolded. And... See, where does this guy land? Is that it or is there one more? That's it. Okay. That yeah, looks pretty good. So this one, I think if I hold and lift, I can choose the height. What would be the right height? Probably want to stay over the top of everything, huh? It's not necessary for the game and I don't have any kind of a crop destruction mod turned on which will destroy everything the tires crush so I don't have to worry about that but just for, for fun we'll try to do it like we would have normally done it B turns it on there we go get up higher we can see the dirt change color from a, a light brown to a darker brown let you know you're hitting everything in reality, you'd be doing your best to keep your tires right between these rows, but that's easier done in a real piece of equipment than in this game where you just don't have a really good depth of field of where everything is. I can't turn my, I can't move my head side to side to get you know more of a stereo vision out of it, so I'm just just guessing. So we'll do it like this. But anyway, we'll go through all of the three options of the poll and see what everything costs and everyone can kind of weigh what is our first priority. We're going to eventually do all of the things in the poll, but you guys uh, let me know what you want to do first. I think the poll is a great way to do that. When I saw Dagger one first do that, I thought, you know, that's a great idea. Bravo. Right there. I do like his videos. He's got, uh, let's see, 3B. He's got uh, a nice clean uh, channel over there and very family oriented. The, every once in a while they get a little obnoxious in the comments, but uh, um, good quality programming though. I like what he does. He does mostly simulations, so he does uh, uh, Euro Trucker and uh, Farming Simulator, things like that. And he's got quite a few uh, other maps that he's running now that are. Uh, more European maps. So he's got, I think, three series running right now based on Farming Simulator 17. So I'm going to be lucky to keep uh, control of one series right now because I do more variety of games than he does. He sticks just to the simulations and that's it. Now I've been doing a lot of contracting work off camera in which case, I don't care if I hit edges and corners, and and uh, you know, you just you just got to get through it as fast as you can. So, can't really uh, drive here the way that I would have driven there. Here, we want to actually do this right. So let's. Not too far. 
Alright, let's go right with the other right. That. There we go. And cruise control. It is set for six, isn't it? Let's take that up higher. Alright, so this thing runs at seven miles an hour. Okay. And we're just touching the tops of the flowers. But with speed at five, we'll see how many episodes, how many, you know, basically one hour events we have before we hit dark. See if we can get into, you know, several days to several weeks before this series is out instead of cramming the entire series into the first five days. <laughs> that way we'll get into more weather and uh, see what that's all about. Oh, we about half done already? Something like that. Starting to get kind of good at this. At least when there's no trees right at the end. So these other fields that we're going to eventually buy, we'll evaluate them for obstacles. Though I think there is a sign right over there on the road that I have a feeling we're going to whack once in a while with when we start getting bigger equipment. Um, this tractor needs some gasoline. Or I don't know what this thing runs. I would think unleaded. But it might be diesel. I don't know, this just feels like a little more domestic to me than, than a, a big diesel tractor. But I might be wrong. Don't know how common unleaded is nowadays for farm equipment. But we do need to think about uh, either bringing on a, a mod and getting a placeable here on the farm that will give us fuel or drive these things out to the uh, the country or the the city gas stations all of the other versions well I'm mostly familiar with Westbridge Hills there were uh, uh, like what would you call them hmm farming supply kind of uh, shops where you buy seed and Oh, we can picture buying uh, fencing and gates and other things like that there. And they had a uh, fuel depot out in the, out the parking lot where you would fill up. And there are a few places like that to gas up as well as some gas stations. But that was back in uh, 15 and, and 13. And those you had fuel and you had uh, uh, fertilizer and seeds all on the farm and as you needed as you filled up it would charge you right off out of the uh, bank account right then and there so quite different from having to go and buy all the things and bring it to you so this one is far more realistic than the other two or and I've never played prior to 13 so I don't know uh, what those versions were like this field's almost done We'll zip over and do the other one. There's still barely over half. Is there enough? Seems like we went through this last time we did this. Do we go top? I just add a touch more just to save the uh, the risk of having to... Now, I'm not talking that far of a drive. We'll see. 48% left, though. I'm thinking these fields look like they're about the same size. Can I do that without... No, I can't. B. It stops the tractor but keeps the uh, the fertilizer going. 14, actually 12 is bigger. 12 is bigger. Too bad I can't click on it and get any information. Right click, left click, nothing. Okay, how many hectares are there? Alright, so B3. B3, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> or is that bingo? Anyway... Turn this guy off. There. Now, can we get through there? Yeah, I think we can without folding up. I wonder if the workers tend to 
work the best if started on a particular side of a field all the time? Is the game geared to run from east to west or something like that? Don't know. Anyway, three and B. There we go. Whip this one out really quick. So it did look smaller, so I'm thinking 44% will be enough for it. Just enough. We should come in on fumes. But yeah, that is a shorter run. Am I hitting that edge or... No, I wasn't hitting that edge. Alright, we'll come up and touch that edge before we, uh, before we call this done. Let me over spray just a little bit and make sure we don't do that anymore. I get a little distracted when I'm recording these because I've got two monitors and I've always got uh, my Gmail on the other one. I can see when someone has commented on something or, or uh, a notification of a tweet comes through or something and just noticing uh, different comments scrolling through from, uh, from you guys. And, uh, just catching me as I'm recording. Trying not to get too distracted here. <laughs> I'll end up steering off to one side, leaving big gaps without fertilizer. Now, the one fertilizer sprayer that I used in Farming Simulator 13, I think, and 15, I don't remember having a uh, an orange tank. Seems like it was a white tank, and it seems like the arms were whiter. To look at the choices again, see if there's one stage bigger than this. If that's the one that uh, the game defaulted to, or if that's even provided anymore in the game. I'm thinking that Giant has licenses from different uh, uh, tractor companies, equipment companies, permissions to use their equipment in their game. And I really wonder if those licenses don't expire or were only bought for this version but weren't renewed for that version. So it's quite possible that equipment will come and go the different versions of the game. Different permission levels. And one of the challenges to uh, making videos of games rather than just playing games is talking. That's, a, that's really a hard thing for, for people to do. You start recording a video and you just want to play, but you realize you're not very entertaining. You need to fill all that time with dialogue. It's amazing I found something to talk about through all that field and most of this one. <laughs> Even talking about talking about. <laughs> That's a good place to store those over there. Kind of relieve some of the crowding down in this area. Like it's nice, all the different places that are on this map for, for storing equipment. Am I there? I think I'm there. Yeah. Like getting all the trailers way out over there. That works out good. So both of these fields, I ended up with oh, a good half of an arm over the end. At the end. So we can overlap just a little bit with this machine at least. Unfortunately, there isn't a uniform width to all the different kinds of equipment, so you can't really set up a, uh, a rule of thumb that will work on everything. You just have to memorize them. I don't use this often enough to remember that. I have to relearn it every time. All right, last pass. Roll over and snip off that little edge over there and be done. Where are we at? 17%. We got it. So grass over there in field 11. I think that was probably the best place to do it. I was thinking about up there at field 7, which is by the pig area, because there's so much other grass areas nearby. You turn the whole thing into grass and 
it's like getting two fields out of out of one purchase but there's no way to uh, to work that one by combining it with other fields it's just a single owner so we'll spend uh, two or three times as much time contracting jobs on that one just to get the price down compared to these clusters that I found all right see if I can see where I'm going here can't tell how far up the mistake was. Let's just methodically hit a few of these. Okay. Probably should be doing it more like this. Just kind of backing it in. And not driving on all of the uh, on the plants. I can see it's light gray right there, or light brown. Okay, it just turned. Uh, there's one more patch right there. I think this is the last one. I can just see that. No, nope, not quite. Right there. Yeah, it just turned dark. All right, let's uh, take a look at our our screen here. It's okay. What am I seeing here? First of all, I don't know that these are misses. They may be. It's possible. These could be misses, or these could be a failure in the previous layer that they're just finally getting their first layer in. But we're going to call that close enough. Yeah, realistically, that's, that's good enough. The rains will come, and they'll, they'll kind of spread it all around in there. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right, let's go put this guy away. Yeah, let's go refill it while we do it, too. We'll be ready for next time. Now, do we fit in here? Hold up, hold up. I think we do. Ho, ho, ho. All right, let's, let's go over here and figure out who put this wheelbarrow in, right in the way. Wait a minute, we had two of these. Did we have two of these? Hmm, we did. I think that just disappeared. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at that. I thought I bought one and dropped it right next to that. Now it's not here anymore. Anyway, let's grab this. Put him up here. Good. Right there. Is that close enough? Yep, it is. Does he live? I guess he just pulls in in front of the weeder. Well, he only could have been at an angle, huh? Oh well, that's close enough. All right, so V and Q. All right, so what is first, and what kind of vehicle do we do it in? Let's grab the, uh, the pickup truck. One of these days, I want to get online and Google all the different tire uh, types. Since the game doesn't show you what the tires look like when you switch them out at the... Uh, right here. My other map, this building is sitting over there, so I'm a little confused. But you've got eight different tire types, but you don't know what they look like. Might be nice to kind of change this up once in a while and... And I uh, see the differences. But anyway, option one on the poll is to buy field 11. So let's head out over there. We'll fully explore that option while we're, while we're waiting for grass to grow, basically. I like how close 11 is. Just over the hill here. Eventually, I'd kind of like to use the train to transport uh, uh, goods to. In fact, because you can drop off your grain here and then load it into the train. Let's uh, let's explore that option real quick. You're loading it into a train. Ah, 
where are my where are my my numbers or my uh, my names here we go there we are so what cell points are on the tracks nothing there right here the maplefield mill so at any point that the maplefield mill has a great demand we should rem we need to remember to dump all of that particular product into this point then load it onto the train bring that around and drop it off and sell it that way I like that okay so that's how we will use this guy let's head over to field 11 whoa a little off-roading there let's get in cab I can control a lot better from in here Got our trains over there Call that the transfer station. Transfer from one train to another. Kind of fun to operate it, but it's as uh, difficult as running the forklift. It takes quite a while to get good at it. There's sheep over here. We well, should check on those guys while we're over in this area. See how their their food and cleanliness and water and whatnot are doing. Let's head over here and talk to Dennis. Dennis Jenkins, so we have got, what would you say, not quite seven-eighths, but real close. Three-quarter to seven-eighths completed. So there's probably two more missions in here. So we're down to $149,000 for his 2.2 hectares, which I've already forgotten what that is in acres. Five acres, maybe? Um, so $150,000 it's going to take for this. And in doing so... I would say we will buy back P. How do I get out of brands? That way. Okay. We'd also want to buy the this guy. So we're at 190,000. We already own this one and we own a tractor big enough to do both, right? Okay. Any of you who know this answer, let me know. This guy needs 160 horsepower. This guy needs 70. Is that 230? Or is it 160? We've got a tractor that will do 240, so we can do it either way. But I'm curious. Does it mean that we need 160, at least a minimum of you know, 160 to run this one and this one as well? Or does it actually add the two up? Realistically, you'd add the two. But it seems like once I tried combining something, I don't remember what it was. It was I think it was a mower and the uh, loading wagon. So we needed 60 and we needed 70, so 130. Well, a case was a 145, so that would have worked. Hmm. Anyway, do you know? If you do, let me know. Do these add? Or does it just take the the largest number? And that's what you need. Everything qualifies as long as you have a 160 horsepower tractor. But when we get into, if we had bought this guy, then we would have been into 90 plus 170. So 260 horsepower, in which case we don't have one big enough to handle it. But anyway... So we're at 190,000 thereabouts for the extra mower. Do we want to get into the better loading wagon? That's probably pushing it. So we're at 200,000 roughly so far of our 432. So that's going to chop off almost half of our, of our bank account. But um, one thing I like about this field is that it is not too far away from anywhere we would need to haul grass. So the little, if we had used this one and needed to get down to the cow area, that would be quite the long drive for the little loading wagon. But here, we just go out this little road to this point, jump across town, and we're basically there. So even the little one would do okay. It's, it's more trips, but the trips aren't very long. So I think we'll, we'll keep the existing loading wagon which is, let's see the differences here. Kind of nice that you can do this without having to drive to the store. Um, <clears throat> loading wagons, we've got this guy. 
21,000 liters. This guy, 34,000, so a half time bigger. This guy, 40, so twice as big, but way out of our budget. This is out of our budget, too, really, if we're going to spend almost 200000 on the other stuff. Is there anything else that we need to run a grass farm out of here? We've got a windrower. We've got a tedder, though a little one. But it would, it would do enough to do what we want to do. I'm thinking we'd snip it off right here. Well, actually, once we grass this thing in, this entire area is going to be grass. You're not going to be able to see the edges of the fields anymore. Well, it may be possible there's still a, a, a line there where the field ends. But in reality, let's uh, get back into the pickup so we can get in the air. So this entire area would, uh, would be grass. So we'd mow out here around the, around the trees and, and what have you. But I'm thinking this little section over here we'd maybe uh, make hay out of. And up in here we'd would just be grass and maybe uh, uh, bale part of it for silage bales. Otherwise loose grass for the rest of it that'll haul off and be silaged. So three different uses out of this field. So that is basically option one on the pole. Let's, well, let's figure out where to go next. Where would we log? And along with, um, for those that, that choose logging as, uh, as what you want in the poll, where? Let's drive all four of these and look around. I think I want to get into a, an existing forest area, take them down, load them up with probably something like forestry... A trailer like this, I'm thinking that our Manitou with this attachment here should do fine to pick up trees that are long enough to get into this guy. We have a length here. We don't have a length. Again, giant. More information, please. I would love to know the, the specs on this guy. I do see that we've got six, you know, three, three axles. I don't know if those are all dualies as well. They may be. Maybe uh, three sets of dualies on there. Um, and we, we'll need a dolly. So we're at 17,000. We'll need a dolly to hook that up to. So that guy mounts into here. This guy mounts to the tractor. Or you skip all of this and get into these guys, which we don't have a budget for right now. But these guys will mount to that trailer without the dolly conversion in the middle. So 9,000 there. Uh, forestry, this guy here. <clears throat> so 25,000 thereabouts for that system to get up and going. Um, maybe another 25 on this guy. And we'll go through and replant some of the areas that we that we deforested. We'll clean them up with our, uh, our stump grinder. So we're at 50,000. And then a pallet of uh, saplings and, and uh, just let them grow. So about 50,000 into this plan. And we'll go ahead and drive through those areas and, and take a good look to see uh, uh, what we want to choose. So are we already 40 some minutes into this episode? Wow. Maybe I'll clip out the path between and just pop up into all three of these. So let's look at the area behind us first. And then we'll go up here, then down, and then catch this one. Then we'll go look at the cattle option. So where am I going? Right in, right back to home. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay, so this first area is on our way to the pig farm from the back of our fields, you know, 12 and 14. Right up in here. I overshot that one. So all of these are available. In fact, the one time that I had Vapa jump onto the map with me to, uh, oh, to have some fun off camera, drove him up into here and we cut down a bunch of trees. I need to get him onto one of these episodes to do something like that. That'd be kind of fun. We trimmed trees out of here and, and uh, it worked out really well. 
So we could do something like this. We'll call this area number one. And a lot of options in here. It's a good sized area. Even in there we can clear out like that area. Anyway, this drops down into the uh, the pig farm area. So... Oh, we didn't check out the sheep over over there. Let's just peek at them real quick. Animals, sheep, do need to clean some things up. So maybe we'll catch that to the beginning of next episode. I have a feeling I'm going to run out of time on this one already. But um, they need water, and they need uh, to have their, their food trough cleaned up. But back over to the map right there. Where am I going next? The other side of field five. So I'll meet you over there. That'll be logging area number two. All right, here's field number five, that great big monster of a field that takes several episodes to be able to, uh, to harvest it. What is that in there? Is that soy? I think that's soy that needs to be harvested. No, I, I'm going to pass on that one. It's a good chunk of money, though. Boy, it pays well. You get 50000 out of that thing. But up in here is option number two as far as logging. A lot more hills, but I think it's a much larger area. I know what I need. I need, uh, need my little map right there. Get nine going. That's why it felt, uh, felt odd. Anyway, we could head into these areas, find somewhere that's somewhat level to park the trailer. And uh, probably right in here would be a good spot. Take down a bunch of trees and, and uh, load up that trailer. But here we can pull trees that are, you know, I, I'm going to say 30, 40 feet long. And so these trees probably cut in half. That's what I'm guessing. Alright, so next option, slow down and hit that 9 again. I'm heading south of here. Okay, we'll go ahead and just drive over there real quick. Because right over here is the, let's see, the field's owned by, who was that? Joshua Allen. So another cluster of fields that should be fairly easy to be able to, to purchase. That is this skinny one right here, which goes back forever. And then this one over here with an interesting diagonal at the end. And we've got a cell point over there for grains. So this is an area that I would like to eventually get as well. And home is, is just up this road here. So not too far away from things. But we want to turn... Oh, lost my nine again. There we go. Next right. Next left. <clears throat> Right here, and I'm going to jump back in cab. I might live through this experience if I do. Alright, this is the tree farm area. This will be uh, area number three. So, head up into the woods there. We have kind of a tree farm over there. This is a much larger area, too. Let me pop out so we can see everything. So we've got a loop out over here, which looks out over the river. You can't really concentrate driving through here. You'll end up in the wash. Yeah, I don't think I want to do any tree cutting near existing structures. This is probably meant to be more like a uh, kind of picture this to be a camping area. In fact, I wish they had set campsites up into some of these. This little loop over here would have uh, looked really good with some campfire rings and, and uh, what have you. Little pullouts. But, let's see, where does this road go? This way? The rest of this area looks very uh, doable. Especially like off to the side, like over here. That drops down into the tree area right there, into the tree farm. Yeah. So I guess for this area, it would probably be more where we started. This uh, this loop out over here. Kind of out of the way. Take the trees down over there and you won't really notice them missing. So that's number three. And then, big map. Head over here next. I'll meet you over there and then we'll look at the cattle and call this one done.
Okay, so we're over here by Morgan's Massive Motors. And off into that area, I believe, is the... How do you get in there from here? I think the entrance is way back behind me. Yeah, I'm sure nobody's going to notice. Yeah, let's sneak over here. But uh, here's another forestry area. Got a bunch of corn ready to harvest over here. I've done too much harvesting the last couple of days. I was going to record this episode yesterday. And after putting a couple of hours in of uh, contracting jobs, going back and forth and back and forth, I just... I was exhausted. Mentally exhausted. Trying to make lines straight is not relaxing. Anyway, this area right in here could be uh, could be logged out if we wanted to. There's a good spot right here to set the trailer and start dropping trees. So this is logging area number four. I think this is the one that has that little observatory over here at this end. Yeah. So we'd stay away from this area so it would still look natural over here. And we may be able to plant some trees back, though they may not be the same kind of trees. I'm not sure what the saplings make anymore. I haven't done that for, for a couple of years since I've played with that. So let's head over to the cattle farm, which is on that side of the field, I believe. Nobody around? Nobody around. I'll sneak back onto the road here. Alright. <clears throat> cattle farm. Probably should be going 25 in here, huh? The cattle will roam out in this area when we have them. Here we are. It's our turn off. So that, I believe, is grass. And get manure and, uh, and slurry out of there for fertilizing. Drop your grass into this area here, and it will uh, silage. You put your total mixed rations into there. Drop off your cattle over here. Store your equipment over there. It's well set up. And your water goes in over here. So, to do cattle, instead of getting into grass and in field 11 or getting into logging. So, third option is cattle. Um, what do we need? We need cattle, for starters. And I'm thinking they were 5,000 each. I'm guessing we can haul, let's see, animal technologies. This guy, probably six cows. I'm thinking six, eight, and ten. Six, eight, and ten. I think they were. that was the options, but I may be wrong. Maybe eight, ten, and twelve. So it might take a couple of trips with this guy. So let's say, oh, 15 times five, what is that, 75,000 in cattle, roughly. We already have the trailer, we already have the water, we're gonna need this guy. So 75, now we're at 100,000. Gonna need this guy, this guy will will take the hay, straw, we'll take the straw, in probably most any form. Uh, we've got some bales, round bales, it should take round and square and what have you. Um, as well as loose. We can, we can scoop it up with a front loader and pour it in. I think it'll take it all. But this is a way to drop a chute down and blow it into the uh, exactly where. I think it just goes right into the main building right there. I think it'll fill up in that area and it'll, it'll feed into that area too. Yeah. Uh, store. So Anyway, that guy puts the bedding in, the straw in. This guy mixes straw and hay or silage. Did it tell us? Yeah, silage, hay, straw together, plus something. What was it? Oh, plus silage. Yeah, which is what we will make with the grass. It's been a while since I've done this, so I think that's the combination. This is always kind of tricky for me. I had to... I had to really experiment with it the first time I did it, figure it all out. But when you hook this guy up, it'll give you three meters at the bottom of how much hay or grass, how much straw, and how much silage. Yeah, there it is right there. 
um, until you get the right combination. And those of you who've got experience with this, you might uh, toss into the notes for me if this is if you want to do cattle next, what that combination is. It seems to me it was two straw, one hay or grass, and one silage, but I'm not sure about that. I think it was two, one, and then you just take your front loader and dump in until the uh, combination uh, hits equilibrium there. So we're at 100,000, we're at 140,000. What else do we need for cattle? That's it, right? The pigs, let's go here. That's not where I want. Back out of here. This is where I want. So pigs take a lot more. But cattle... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do pigs another time. I'm kind of wanting to play with the cattle. But cattle take water, straw, grass, hay. That's... Oh, straw is your bedding. Grass is separate. That's out in the field. This is your power food. Interesting. Food mixture consists of 20% grass, 50% um, silage or hay. Okay, all total food. Okay, so grass out in the one trough, the power food in the in the big troughs, and then kind of a combination of it. It, it all works out. It's kind of hard to explain. You'll you'll see it when we do it. So we're at a hundred and fifty thousand to make this happen. Two hundred thousand to make the the. Uh, Field 11 happen, and I think it was 50,000 make the logging happen. So those are our choices for the poll. So let me know what you think, and I will catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.